having students submit assignments through Moodle is easier because then they're all in one place and you don't have to trace emails, track them, and download them all within a folder, etc. It'll do all that for you and it'll keep them organized and it'll also track when they got submitted. To add an assignment, turn editing on on the top right corner on the settings panel. Then head to add an activity or resource. Click assignment. This is not the turn it in assignment that checks for plagiarism. This one doesn't check for plagiarism. There's a description here. Click add. Give the assignment a name. Submit paper. It also needs a description. If they're in red, you have to add them. Add description. You can show a description on the front page. You click here. Then set off a date, a cutoff time if you want to as well. You can allow late submissions. You can require them to have a submit button and to accept a statement saying they haven't plagiarized and they're using their own files. Um, you can also set it up for group work as well. You can have them submit an online text as an option as well instead of a pa written paper in, a, in an attachment. The advantage for that is that then you don't have to download the file at all, but it's all within Moodle. If you are, have any questions about any of these settings, you can ask me or just click on the question mark and it'll tell you in a few words what it can do. Course upload limit a gigabytes a way high, but there's not a in our Moodle install there's not a middle option such as in my opinion it'd be better to have a 15 megabyte option. There's not that there. So technically they could upload a video, but I'd rather them upload videos to YouTube or a, a different place so that large files are not stored within the Moodle server. Then click save on display. You can set grades and grouping methods as well and restrict access based on conditions. Save on display. And now you have here the assignment set up. There are 10 participants. Nobody has submitted it yet. Then you can click on, uh, if you want to see how students would see this, then you can click switch role to students. Students have the add submission button. So you click add submission. I can then drag a file there if I wanted to. I'm going to drag this Word document. And then you click save changes. Submit assignment. This assignment is your own work. Continue. This is all optional, but again, I clicked it because I feel that it is helpful to have a final submit button and also to ask him to agree to certain that they haven't played your ass basically. If I added more in the description, the description will show up here. The paper has been submitted. If you want to see how it looks in the gradebook, I'll have to show you a different one because I'm entered as an instructor in this course, so I won't have the full student's panel or view. But um, I'll cover that in a different tutorial anyhow. But that's how you, you can ask students to submit a paper. And once the paper is submitted, it's all with your Moodle. And you can download them all as a bash to your computer. To your computer and you can also grade so that you grade one click next grade another one click next and it's very easy to grade in a sequence as well so uh, i hope um, that seems interesting to you and if you have any questions please let me know thank you bye